Good morning, it's your man Earl. Friday morning, bright eyed in Bushy Town. Uh, I want to get this video up to you, uploaded really quickly. Seventeenth uh, Friday a.m. Uh, getting ready to uh, get our day on the move, and I just want to give you guys this as we begin to move through the year. We are now uh, officially halfway through, quote unquote, the month of January. So a lot of times people are starting to fizzle out. People are starting to look at you. Uh, you're starting to look at other people. Uh, people are starting to form, quote unquote, uh, opinions. If you've developed a, quote unquote, new you, if you're starting to uh, put in place new habits, new goals, new uh, objectives, people are starting to now take notice. Uh, we'll probably do a video on that exactly uh, when you begin to take notes, when you begin to, to really start to feel different. Uh, but I want to get this to you right quickly. Do not be swayed by the opinions of others. Okay, I'm going to say this again. Do not be swayed by the opinions of others. Uh, yes, it is important uh, how people think about you. Yes, it is important how people quote unquote view you. Yes, it is important on how people may or may not understand you, but here's the caveat. Here is the uh, the crux of the matter, if you will. You cannot allow the uh, uh, the opinions of other people to shape how you move forward. Now, I'm going to give you this and we'll be done. Uh, it starts very early at your childhood. It starts early in kindergarten, starts early in preschool, starts early in daycare, starts early even in your family about how people start to form opinions of how they feel about you. And here is the hard part. A lot of times, if you don't have good parenting, if you don't have a strong family background, you begin to take upon the identity of what others say you are. So if people say you're stupid, guess what? You become the person who's stupid. If people say you're a class clown, you begin to walk in the ideologies of the class clown. People say, oh, you're the super athlete, then you begin to carry yourself as one who has this athletic abilities. But the kicker is this, who are you truly and who are you consciously? And then who are you subconsciously? You cannot allow the opinions of others to begin to shape and shift and most importantly, guide into who you are to become. If you are someone who is a people pleaser, okay, there are a lot of them out there. If you are someone who just can't shake the identity that other people have given you, then you got some work to do. Okay, and we may explore that a little for, uh, a little bit deeper, but I want to give you this on Friday morning as we begin to prepare ourselves for the snow coming in. Allegedly, I'm sure it's going to come, but, you know, we've gone long enough without the snow, quote unquote, that sticks. So uh, I know we've had snow earlier this year, but it didn't stick. But they're saying blizzard three to five inches of snow. So prepare that. But here's the most important thing. We tend to gang up on other people. We tend to posse up on other people because we are not sure on who we are. And so we take those same opinions. We take those same ideologies. We used to call it bullying back in the day, but it was actually real bullying. None of the cyber bullying that people talk about today. And I'm not saying that's not authentic. But I'm talking about the old school bullying as you get bullied in your face, bullied in the locker room, bullied in the lunchroom, bullied in the hallway, bullied in the bathroom. Now people, now people pick up the telephone and they bully you on through social media. That's a separate concept, separate uh, subject. Don't feel bad about the opinions of others. Don't allow yourself to be shaped with the opinions of others. Okay, and then here is the big boy conversation and we're done. You might have issues. Own them, deal with them. You might be the other person who is constantly projecting. We talked about this earlier, projecting inferiority on other people because you know yourself have issues. You would cut that out. And work on self. Don't be the one who allows other people to form who you are as a person. And then don't be the one who, instead of dealing with your shortcomings, your uh, inferiority complexes, okay? Don't be the person who can't deal with self. And so you start projecting uh, inferiority 
on other people. You try to make people look and feel this big. You you, you start telling people you're yeah you're you're in for you you are inferior to me, you are below me, I'm better than you. Cut that stuff out. Okay, every human being is unique. Let's just make sure that you walk in your own uniqueness without belittling other people. It's your man, Earl. Don't let the opinions of others define who you are and don't let the opinions of others shape your future. This is your man. God bless. Day 17. Don't walk in the opinions and ideologies of others. Peace.